Hello teacher, we are group B and here is our group presentation. We will go through the content table of this project and I will begin with the watch list overview of 10 stocks that we have chosen before and here are 10 of them. After spending time doing quick research about those 10 companies to limit and systematic risks, me and my team have selected five companies representing five different industries that are transportation, food and beverage, pharmaceutical technology and consumer products. I will point out each business background and the reason why we should invest in their stock. Let's start with a transportation of Vietnam container shipping dry stock company is selected. First is about the stock tickers, EVSC. The business line is about the transportation and warehousing support activity for transportation and support activities for water transportation. Next is about a brief overview. Vietnam Container Shipping Choice Stock Company was one of the first state-owned enterprise to provide container shipping at service. They are one of the leading seaport operators and service providers in Vietnam leading professional logistics supply chains. The reason why we choose this company is that Vinconship own one of the most extensive container depot system in high form Đà Nẵng with 20 years experience in this field. In the next industry, we have Kido Group Corporation that represents food and beverage. The stock ticker is KDC. With the business slide is that Kido maintains and explains its leading position in the frozen industry with ice cream, milk and dairy product and develop its product portfolio to the food and porridge industry, primarily with cooking oil, instant noodle, seasoning soup, and convenient packaged food to meet the needs of Vietnamese family kitchens throughout the day. About the brief overview, Kido Corporation was found in 1993 and has since grown to become one of the Vietnam's leading food and flavor enterprise. Kido Group had maintained uh, the market leaders in confectionery for the past 20 years, offering a wide range of candy, cookies, ice cream under the Kido brand name. The reason why we choose this company is that Kido Group has been a market leading in confectionery for past, the past 20 years, offering a wide variety of companies under Kido brand name. Their mission is to allocate funds to maximize long-term shareholder value and manage risk to provide uh, certainty and trust that investment in their company will meet the shareholder objective. Next is uh, FED Corporation, which is widely known is technology in technology industry. Has a stock called uh, FBT. The business line is about technology, telecommunication, and education. Next is about a brief overview. FBT, formerly the Corporation for Financing and Promoting Technology in Vietnam's latest information technology service company, this core business focuses on the provisions of ICT related service. And the reason why we choose FBT is that it stands number one in the field of system integration, IT service, and online advertising in Vietnam. According to the United Nations Development Ram, it's more than 14th latest company in Vietnam in 20, 2007. Move on to pharmaceutical. We have OPC pharmaceutical dry stock company with the stock tickers is OPC. The, lab, the business line is a product and trade pharmaceutical product, materials, machinery, medical equipment, uh, and chemicals, product and just wise spirit and porridge. About the brief overview, OPC, OPC Pharmaceutical Choice Stock is a pharmaceutical company. The company manufactures and market drugs and other medical products from natural pharmaceutical materials, which cultivated and processed at the pharmaceuticals of a company. It's also involved in a 
production and uh, wholesale trading pharmaceutical chemicals and supply and also uh, function you know, food. The reason why we choose uh, OPC is that this is one of the leading companies in the production and sales purple medicines fields. And it's where the first produced herbal medicine units, which were issued the GMP, JLP, and JSB certificate by Vietnam Drug Administration and Ministry of Health. Investors will benefit from a more significant safety index or the business, including real estate, uh, construction, telecommunication, technology, and securities, despite the low indexes. Finally, in the consumer service, we choose Hong Kong Thai Textile Government Investment Trading Choice Stock Company with the subtickers ETCM. The business slide is that the business slide is that the textile and garment manufacturing and trading product of spining, weaving, tightening, drying, and garment, and also a fashion retail, real estate, real estate. And about the brief overview, Tangong Title and Government Choice Stock Company, formerly known as Tai Tang Title Industry Company, was established in 1967. Furthermore, from a small scale factory in Ho Chi Minh City, Tangong has survived and grow one of the Vietnam most prominent textile and garment business. The reason why we choose this company is that come consumer demand for good in a major export market such as US, EU, uh, Japan, South Korea has increased markedly when the epidemic is under control. The economic gradually recovers and the blockade order is lifted. And it's also a long time history in government business with a strong recovery from COVID-19. So now we come to the second part. In the second part, we want to dig deeper in computing annual average return. First, about its definition, AIR shows the consistency of the company total return in a series period of time. Furthermore, AAR is an essential indicator of a firm's performance. By then, we would compute the number of AAR by using the close price data from 2016 to 2021. About annual average return of our watch list, we would come through three first year. In 2016, two out of five of the total company score more than zero, with Kido company achieving best more than 40% while Thành Công Textile being the locust with more than negative 70%. A year later, TCM had doubled and surpassed the previous year record. Except for Vietnam container shipping, all of the maturity values are over zero. In this last period, 2018, all stock plummeted sharply, considered as a year of the substantial declines. In particular, graphical graffiti time VSC had the best annual return of 3%. Continue of our three last year, 2019 to 2021. In 2019, the picture was much brighter, while most companies rising marginally with FVT again for almost 30%. Again, TCM exploded to be a top position of nearly 100% in 2020. HAT had nearly six times higher from 30% to 165% in 2021, make them the highest annual return. So after comprehend and understand how all firm performance over the year, when looking at the IIR, our five picked company, KDC is currently in first place with nearly 20%, DCM at 17%, FPT is nearly 15%, Smaller one is OPC and VSC account for about 8% about a portfolio on market return in detail. First, X stock of the selected portfolio. In general, all stock are all positively predictable to from 2016 to 2021. KDC and TCM are two of the most profitable. FPT was in the third 
stock range, OPC and VSC are nearly, are neither, uh, identical at the same level with OPC slightly higher. Based on the AAR fluctuation, KDC and TCM were considered as two most appealing to invest. Now, the second one is the market portfolio. When we look at the market portfolio, ProVN index, we could see that case DC and TCM is comparable to VN index, indicating that they are desirable stock to invest in. FBT is slightly lower, which is riskier, but still respectable. So the, it's considered, so the investor could consider about this stock. On the other hand, OPC and VSC are much lower, both on their other competitor and the VN index. So when the when the investor they want to invest, they should be the last period. The last one is the selected portfolio. OPC and VSC are the two stock in the group portfolio with smaller AAR. TCM is the second highest outperform both in the market industry and the weighted portfolio. With KDC, AAR percentage is 1.4 times as much as the group portfolio, which is very attractive. However, investors should also be careful since this stock would carry a bigger risk so in conclusion, when the investor, they buying stock or investing in any stock, they should think and act before making any decision. Because when they waited along the profit of every stock and they're aware of the investment, they lose some money in the future. Hi, I'm Zhang and I will present the top part with this risk. So in finance, the standard deviations is one of the most important metrics for determining how risky the investment is. And risk presents anticipates the actual returns of that investment. In other words, for a given period, the profit or loss of that investment will be higher or lower than expected. So here is the uh, risk and returns of our watch list from 2016 to 2021. And overall, we compared two companies in the same industry of our watch list and to the stock that has a balance between risk and returns, which means that it should not have neither a too much high risk uh, nor, too, nor too lower return compared to the other one. In addition, it can be seen from the chart that the, the stock that we chose, which is FPT, VSC, KDC, OPC, and TCM have a close position with each other. So the budget above have depicts the overall risk of five different stocks in five years. According to the data, KDC and VSC has the lowest standard deviation compared to the other three. This means that Keto Corporations and Vietnam Container Shipping GSC have the lowest risk among the five stock chosen. On the other hand, um, Pharmaceutical Joint Stock Company and FPT Corporation have the highest absolute risk due to their highest standard deviation. Now coming to our market portfolio, and since the VNA index is a stock market in excess tracks the performance of 303 stocks. So the standard deviation of it will be lower than a particular stock. And which also means that the VN index, the market with the market's portfolio has the lowest standard deviation and also have the lowest risk. And finally, our group portfolio, now compare it to our lowest, uh, compare it to our lowest uh, stock that has the lowest standard deviations, KDC, it still has a, a lower standard deviation, it still has a lower standard deviation of that. And, uh, and which means that it has a lower level of risk than all of our five chosen stocks. And also the group portfolio standard deviation, deviations is higher than that of the market band mass and also means it has a higher overall risk.
Thank you for your part. I am Ngap and I will present the fourth part, which is systematic risk. So before showing the beta value of our group's portfolio, I would like to provide some information about beta and the Excel formula we used to calculate it in this assignment. In terms of definition, beta coefficient is a measure of the volatility or systematic risk of an individual portfolio or security compared to the market as a whole. It is used in the capital asset pricing model or CAPM, which describes the relationship between systematic risk and expected return for assets. Next, about the formula, we calculated the beta coefficient by dividing the covariance of a stock's return with market returns by the variance of market return. And the covariance and variance can be calculated using these Excel functions shown here. Moving on to the next part, here is a chart describing the beta of our group's selected stocks, the market as a whole, and the group portfolio. As you can see, the beta of VSC, FPT, KDC, OPC, and TCM is 1.04, 1.67, 0.29, minus 0 0.49 and 0 0.22 respectively, resulting in our group portfolio's value of 0 0.55. So what exactly do these numbers describe? This is another illustration of our selected stocks beta, but divided into three different segments. The negative beta of OPC shows that it is inversely correlated to the market which means its price changes in the opposite direction of the market, which is via an index. In contrast, the other four stocks have positive beta values, describing that their prices change in the same direction of via an index. Among the four stocks, KDC and TCM have their beta values sitting between zero and one, which means they are less sensitive compared to the market whereas VSC and FPT's beta values are greater than one, illustrating that they are more likely to change compared to the overall market. Our group's portfolio beta is 0 0.55, which signifies that it changes in the same direction, but at a lower rate compared to VN index. Next. Since our five stocks are equally invested and in five separate industries, to be specific, VSC in transportation, FPT in technology, KDC in food and beverage, OPC in pharmacy, and TCM in consumer product, total risk of the investment, especially unsystematic risk, is minimized as portfolio diversification can make up some of the losses if any stock has a bad performance. And each value of beta coefficient in total would determine the investment success. As an investor, beside the magnitude of beta coefficient, its sensitivity response to systematic risk also have to be considered carefully before making vital decisions. That's the end of my part, and I will leave the rest to my group mates. So now we come to the last part of the video, the optimal portfolio. So optimal portfolio is actually a subjective decision for different investor. And, and it will depends on the uh, investor's tolerance of risk. Mm. So now first look at the uh, minimum variance portfolio of my group. Um, on the left side is the equally weighted portfolio, and on the right side is the weight of minimum variance portfolio. Um, so by using Excel Solver, we have successfully reduced the variance from 3.7% uh, to 3.33%. And uh, it's lucky that um, the return of the portfolio also increased from 13.8% uh, to 14%. Mm. 
this is a very good result. However, in uh, the preference of my team, we still prefer a kind of higher return for the portfolio. So um, that's why we have made the uh, uh, efficient frontier. Efficient, efficient frontier is the set of efficient portfolios that offer the highest I mean, um, the high spec return for a defined level of risk and vice versa, the lowest risk for a given level of expected return. Um, so here, as you can see, all the point on the efficient frontier can be a choice of the team. So after reading the textbook, I, I see that um, tangent portfolio, it's often a um, a good choice for investor to choose is um, it's um, it's offer a um, a quite good return and also a considerate a moderate risk, which is okay. And uh, I also calculate the sharp ratio of uh, these portfolio, and I found that the tangent portfolio also goes together with the highest sharp ratio, which is um, which is very good. So in general, uh, after discussion, we have choose the tangent portfolio as our team optimal portfolio. And the return was increased very quite a lot, uh, up to 17.4% for the tangent portfolio. Yeah, it also goes along with a, a little higher risk with the variance of 4.3%. But I, I, it's completely understandable, high risk, high return. So in comparison, um, we have to say that even when we try to minimize the uh, variance of the portfolio, our risk is still higher than the market risk. Uh, I, I think maybe the problem is not coming from the way we do it, but because uh, we didn't have enough number of stocks in order to uh, reduce the uh, unsystematic risk. So, I mean, in reality, if we could choose more stock, uh, like around 10, maybe the variance could be uh, reduced more um, uh, effectively. Um, then about the uh, average annual return, we are kind of satisfied with the re result uh, of the tangent portfolio. So um, that's all for our presentation. Um, so in conclusion, we have to say that this uh, report is not perfect. So uh, it's kind of simple. And, um, but I still hope that it can help you guys. So very thank you for your time of listening our video.